and all Ireland's titles. The people of Clare and every person who ever wore the saffron and blue with pride has suffered much. There is a long and remarkable history between Cork and Clare. They've met 47 times in the championship, with Cork winning on 33 occasions. And the man taking it is Tim Crowley, the midfielder, and that's the score. The most significant clashes happened in the 1977 and 1978 Munster finals. So John Crowley getting Cork on the attack. Referee Noel Dalton whistling there for a foul on Charlie McCarthy. That's the fullback, Jim Power. He's having a word with him. Jim Power certainly looks as if he's off there. It looked a little bit harsh, I thought, really, to be quite honest. And um, but. At the same time, uh, Clare had to fight on with 14 men and it was an uphill battle for them after that. So that was a major turning point in that game, all right. Then 78 was the real showdown and, you know, we held the cock forwards, terrific forwards that they had, the 13 points and we still lost. So that's the one that really did damage to Clare, not alone to that team, but I think the supporters as well. You know, the supporters went away believing after that that they'd never see Clare winning a Munster final, not to mention in All-Ireland. It took until 1995 for that attitude to change. Cork were beaten, Clare won the Munster and All-Ireland titles, and the people of Clare believed once again. So clearly there's been an intense and healthy rivalry between Cork and Clare for decades. But there is something in the air that would suggest that next Sunday there's an added bite to the clash in the All-Ireland final. Martin Morrissey, RT News, Ennis, County Clare.